Hello students, in today's class, we are going to learn about DNA-DNA hybridization studies as a method in molecular taxonomy. So in DNA-DNA hybrid, uh, hybridization studies is basically based on the fact that when two organisms share uh, many identical or highly similar genes, then their DNAs are expected to hybridize in a proportion similar uh, in proportion to the similarities of their DNA sequences. So here we need to measure the DNA-DNA hybridization between the genomes of two organisms that provides us a rough idea about their similarity to each other. DNA-DNA hybridization studies are highly useful for differentiating between organisms in combination with 16S rRNA gene sequencing. So here, uh, the first step in DNA-DNA hybridization studies includes isolation of the genomic DNA of the organism, the target organism, that you want to compare with other organisms that are present in the reference genome. So uh, once we isolate the genomic DNA, the DNA is sheared and labeled. So shearing is done by different methods such as uh, mechanical shearing can be done or restriction enzymes can be used that will lead to generation of smaller fragments of DNA. These are then uh, made radioactive by labeling it with radioactive phosphate. Then heat treatment is used to convert the double-stranded DNA into single-stranded DNA. Similar treatment is also used with the second organism with which you want to compare your test organism, except we do not do labeling of the DNA from the second organism. So heat treatment will uh, denature both the first organism and the uh, second organism, which we want to compare. Then in the hybridization experiment, uh, in first set, we mix the DNA from the first organism with the DNA of the first organism itself, which is not labeled. And in the second set of the experiment, we mix the DNA of the first organism with the unlabeled DNA of the second organism. Now we allow the hybridization to take place and then we interpret our results. So the self-hybridization with the same organism is done so that we can have a control for our experiment. Now coming to the uh, result interpretation, uh, depending on how much is the hybridization that is obtained between your uh, first organism and the other second organism, that is the reference organism, we can conclude how much is the similarity between your test organism and the reference organism. So generally, uh, we can determine uh, this with the help of the hybridization percentage. So if the hybridization percentage is less than 25%, then it suggests that the two genera that we are looking at are a completely different genera. If the hybridization percentage is more than 25% and less than 75%, then it will suggest that the two organisms that we are looking at are from the same uh, genus, but from different species. While if you have the hybridization percentage between the two organisms that is more than 75%, uh, then it will uh, indicate that they are actually same species. So here in our results, uh, if we find that uh, the hybridization ratio is more than 25%, then one and two uh, organisms are likely, uh, is less than 25%, and the two organisms are likely uh, different genres. So the methodology that uh, we just discussed is uh, written in the next slide for your reference. Also the result interpretation, how is it done is also written in the next slide for your reference that we have just discussed. So thank you and kindly like, share and subscribe if you like the contents. Thank you.